Hey guys, it's been a while. Welcome to the SMA Big Spring Contest 2012 results video. It's been another amazing contest season at ScaleModelAddict.com. Over 160 entries and close to 100 final entries. The voting was tight on some of the categories, let me tell you. It was tight on some of them. I'm going to do this video announcing all the winners and then in the next day or so I will post all the results of the polls so you can see where you were in the standings. A big thank you to all the contest sponsors this year. Badger Airbrush, thank you Ken. Uh, again, stepping up in a big way, donating tons of airbrushes, you guys. The winners, first and second place, you're going to be able to uh, spray with a Badger airbrush. Awesome stuff. More on that later. AK Interactive USA, thank you so much, Ian. Scott at Elm City Hobbies. Armor Farm, thank you. Model Man Tom with Modeler's Brand, another great light pack this year. Uh, Zeron Tools, thank you. And a lot of members stepped up with prizes. Uh, Grendel's, Spud, Biscop. I alarm you, Fumble Thumbs, Fruit, Mercy John, Bizarre. Uh, you guys, thank you so much. More on those prizes later, but let's get straight to the winners, eh? Oh, by the way, before I say anything, it's about 100 degrees up here, so I'm gonna like get rid of the toque because it's really, really warm. Okay, let's keep going. All right, so as you know, there's been kind of some, uh, I got all my notes here. There's going to be a bit of a shuffle in some of the winning, okay? I was talking to Kenneth Badger and he loves to give away airbrushes, but he wasn't crazy about giving the same guy four or five airbrushes, and I don't blame him. It's not really the heart of SMA either to just dump uh, all those prizes on one person. So. If you win multiple wins, which there was at least one person that did that, you're going to get kind of the top lot, okay? You're going to get, uh, well, the first place winning position and the prize awarded to that. And then uh, on other wins, if you win first, you're going to get the recognition as first place with the forum banner and stuff like that, but the prizes are going to be shuffled down. So there's a couple cases where fourth place is going to get the third place prize and third is going to get the second and second gets the first if you follow me on that. Just in regards to the Badger airbrushes, okay? So I want to be clear about that right off the top. And also note that uh, everybody that uh, submitted a final build is going to get a uh, paint set from Badger airbrush and a 10% uh, discount on a $20 purchase is Elm City Hobbies. So thanks to Badger and Elm City Hobbies for those global prizes. That's really cool. All right, enough about that. Let's just get on with it, okay? All right. <laughs> it's been a while since I made a video. I'm, you know, it's good to see you. Um, yeah, I just about rambled there, but I won't. Oh, shoot. I don't know if I just got the armor category or not. I think... I'm gonna go over armor again in case that didn't record. Okay, so we're on the webcam at work because I forgot to press record while I announced the air category at noon today in my loft and it's already almost 5 p.m. Atlantic and I really want to get this out so you guys can see it. So we're just going to use the webcam, okay? So here's the air category in the SMA 2012 Big Spring Contest. In number three, the Raphael B by C C R B one. Congratulations! Yay! In number two, Mercy John's Tuscany Airman P fifty one D Mustang. Is this recording? Okay. And in number one, uh, I'm sure you're anxious to see who won first place. 
so again, sorry for the blue off-white balance webcam, but Neo, you win first place with your stinging A-7E. Ah! Hey! Yeah! All right, so that's the air conditioner in the background, and um, that's actually Patrick uh, doing the applause. <laughs> So we're going to get back to the loft and the other camera and proper white balance. All right? Boom. Is it battery charging or what? It's supposed to be. Okay, anyways. Um, armor. Third place, again, in case I missed it. Third place for armor is T Badger with his T90A main battle tank. Congratulations. Number two. Place goes to Rentar One with his German WW2 off Klarungs Panzer 38T. I said that wrong. And number one goes to somebody else. And I know you're sitting on the edge of your seat right now. <laughs> and I know we'll hear about it in the forum because I'm kind of teasing a bit. Okay. Where is my Dremel? No, seriously, Spud dude, you got first place. With your Panther Offs A Late Production. Congratulations, dude. Dude! Let's go right to Auto. Auto. Number three in Auto goes to the Zombie Hunter Patrol Car. CT Speed Shop, congratulations. Very cool build. I like that one. Uh, I got one of those kits here I should dig out and make into a zombie car. It's a nice body for that. Number two goes to I Alarm You. Dave, you got number two with the 65 Shelby Cobra. Very nice. And number one in auto, automobiles. There was some cool stuff in the contest. Did anybody look? Did you look at the results? Did you look at the builds? If you're just a casual YouTuber and don't really go to ScaleModelAddict.com, there's going to be a link in the underbar there. You should go see some of the builds. If you're into scale modeling, there was some nice stuff. Nice, nice, nice. No name. No name. No name wins auto with his 41 Woody on the move. That was a sweet build, man. Seriously. That was a sweet build. Okay, let's go right over to Diorama. Diorama. Number three in Diorama goes to Knock Knock by Java. Congratulations, very cool. A Mach A Mac build. Number two is awarded to Biscop. Diorama the Duel. Congratulations. And number one, I know there's. You know, you know what's cool for dioramas? If you want to do scale sand, on that dio I did of uh, uh, the Libyan thing, I used chinchilla sand. I got that tip from uh, uh, John Tolcher, Talker. Anyways, chinchilla sand, you get it at the pet store. This was like 10 bucks. It's really, really fine, but uh, you can mix it with whatever. It's just like small scale sand. For your dioramas it's awesome and that'll probably last i don't know my son will still have some okay number one in dioramas goes to cat and mouse speaking of chinchillas to mercy john congratulations congratulations if anybody's paying attention you've already spotted that there's going to be some fourth place that gets stuff i'm going to go back and try to un mix all that later Okay, let's go to uh, Juniors, since it's next on the sheet. Okay, six entries from Juniors. Guys, thank you for being a member at SMA. I think it's really important that we have Junior members, like guys under 18. Um, it's important. Why? Because, well, you are the future. And you probably hear that everywhere, but it's true. So... Guys like me are starting to go gray. Well, I started to go gray a long time ago. Wah! But yeah, good job. Keep it up. Invite your friends. You know, if you're in school, stay in school. Don't do drugs. But uh, seriously, 
you know, I'd like, I'd love to see that demographic increase on the site. More juniors, the better. Okay, number three is the 34 Street Rod by Nikki. Awesome. Number two is the 148 German, uh, not German, 148 Sherman Firefly by Stan Smith. Number one in juniors goes to Austin 13 2010. The Republic F84G Thunderjet. Congratulations. Now there are a prizes being awarded to fourth, fifth, and sixth place in junior. Everybody's going to get something. So I'm going to go through those. Fourth place in juniors was the Airco DH6 by Fruit. Fifth place in juniors goes to the SDKFZ 181 Tiger by Sven Harachek. Sorry. And number six goes to the F-22A Raptor by Sijo. I don't know how to pronounce half of these words. Sorry. So that's cool. You guys are all getting something. And some of those prizes, most of those prizes are coming from the members. And they're going to PM you about it. Because I don't know this, the details. I know that from AK... He's adding uh, an autographed FAQ2 to the winner. So, Austin, you're going to get an autograph by Mega Men as FAQ2. I got that at my office. I'll ship it out to you. Anyways, that's work for later this week. Okay, enough rambling. <laughs> rambling Man. Okay, number three in sci fi goes to Ironclad by Model Maker Mike. Congratulations. Number two in sci-fi. Oh, I know you guys are on the... I know you're on the edge of your seat, certain folks, simply because you've been posting and anxious. So, The Errant, Errant Venture by Nicholas Sagan. You got number two. I went on Wikipedia yesterday and looked that up. That's... That was really cool. That's kind of an expanded universe thing. And speaking of expanded universe things, The Blockade Runner by Mr. John Simmons took number one in sci-fi. Congratulations, dude. Congratulations. The All Open is all that's left. The All Open does not qualify for Best of Show, which is also left. Um, and there's only one winner, and the one winner gets this exact chrome right here. I'm going to send that to the winner. Kind of. The winner of the All Open goes to The Outrider by Mercy John. MJ, you took, you took some spots this year, dude. Seriously. Nice stuff, and... Uh, you know, Mercy John is uh, expecting, in case anyone doesn't know, his uh, better half. I'm sure she's better. <laughs> better half. Um, yeah, she's pregnant. So congratulations to you guys. I know you're in the middle of moving around and uh, changing the hobby room into a nursery and stuff. But I hope your girlfriend or wife or fiance or whatever your better half. I hope she watches this. I hope she's real proud of you. And, uh, yeah. So you got number one in the All Open. And you got number one in Sci-Fi. And you got number one in Diorama. And you got number two in Air. So this is where the Badger Clause kicks in. Okay? One airbrush. So, the all open is a chrome, and first in any con, first in any spot, is an autographed brush. So you're going to get an autographed brush, okay? If there's other first place stuff, like Diorama has some first place stuff from Armor Farm, and uh, AK has some first place stuff. So that's going to you. We just got to settle out the brushes. So, all open is going to get bumped down. You're going to get the badge for it, and you get the big shout-out for it. 
But number two in all open, who actually gets the chrome, is Solander with his Avenger. So congratulations, Solander. Um, you get that prize. Awesome. Now, we also have to bump down the air category. Because, MJ, you won second in air. This has become the MJ show. <laughs> um, so that gets bumped down to Neil, you're going to get first prizes, airbrush wise. And then Mercer John, you're kind of out of the airbrush thing there. So uh, CCRB1, who's third place winner, is going to get the second place airbrush, which is a chrome. And that means number four gets the third place stuff, which is uh, paint sets. Yep. And that's going to go to African Ace by Flip Flop. You were the fourth place in air. So you guys follow me on how this is working? I'm trying to keep it realistic. Okay. Now the same thing happens. No, diorama. Diorama, you're going to get the brush for that. The reason being is Solander, you got number four in diorama, but you already got bumped down in the all open. You know what I mean? I'm just trying to distribute this correctly. I hope you guys follow me. Um, sci fi. Okay. So, sci fi, we're going to get a shift. Since you took first, John, um, Nicholas Sagan, you're taking the first place airbrush. Model Maker Mike, you're getting the second place airbrush. And Mr. Natural, you were fourth in sci fi with your hornies. So, you get bumped up to the third place prize. You follow me there? Okay. First and second are the airbrushes, though. I don't want to mislead anybody. So did we cover everything? There was air, there was sci-fi, all open, diorama. Okay. I think we've got it straight. It took me about 24 hours of looking at that to figure it out. <laughs> hey. Do you know what I mean? Hey, just a little uh, editor's note here. I noticed that I'm saying all open quite a bit in the upcoming clip, but I mean to say best of show, okay? So I'm talking about the best of show, not the all open. We already did that. Little scatterbrained, I must say. I'm not real proud of my performance. All right, see ya. All right, all open is all that's left. All open, the all open. The all open went down to a staff vote. We originally, I thought that we could do it with the highest number of total votes, but since there wasn't an even amount of entries per category, that of course skews the amount of votes. If there's 20 things, like in sci fi, then you can mix your votes across a larger palette, if you want to say that. Whereas in armor, there's like eight or nine entries, so it's more concentrated, so the numbers go up. So that didn't work. That was brought to my attention, thank you, my bad. So we went, we took all the first place winners and uh, we got the staff to send me a PM with who they chose. And the choice was, uh, I don't want to say landslide, but there was no question. It was like four to two or five to, five to two, I think. Anyways, the all open. The all open, you're going to get a nice engraved plaque from Mercy John. Um, you also get an engraved brush from Badger. And this is going to shuffle some things around too because it's like a double first place win, right? Okay. So the all open, sorry. So the best of show. <laughs> Best of show goes to Woody on the Move by No Name. Congratulations. Did you guys see that car model? Did you see that? He cut, he, like, he scratch built everything except the surfboard. Seriously, it's wicked. So, congratulations, No Name. You won Best of Show for the 2012 Scale Model Addict Big Spring Contest.
people entered from all over the planet, pretty much. So that means auto gets shifted too, because you obviously want first and auto. So I alarm you, you are taking the first place brush for auto. CT Speed Shop, you get the second place brush. And Bizarre, you were third with your post-war Mercedes in auto. You were fourth, rather. So you get bumped up to the third place prize, okay? I think we got it all. What do you know? I think we got it. So, I'm going to let you go with that. Uh, we can talk about it and congratulate everybody on the forum. If you haven't visited Scale Model Addict lately, if you're like a casual YouTube viewer, check it out. There's links in the underbar. Uh, you can like us on Facebook. There's kind of stuff going on too behind the scenes at SMA. There's a couple big things going on behind the scenes and a couple pretty big things too. We got a new series of Hobby Link Japan reviews coming out. Uh, the first one is already uploaded to YouTube. I'm going to launch it in a couple of days. And uh, ship, motorbike, some Star Wars stuff, some armor stuff. Uh, this time around I'm going to do a review of the Hobby Boss Defender Wolf, which is a pretty sweet kit. So look for that in the upcoming weeks. There's going to be some regular YouTube content going online. I hope to get back to some build videos, but between a small business and a full-time marriage and a full-time kids and a website and, you know, I'm no busier than you, but I'm probably as busy as you are. And, uh, you know, we're hanging out at SMA, doing our best to keep things moving forward and to bring you fun and community and... Uh, you know, that's what we're trying to do. We're still sponsoring Dijanice in uh, in Haiti. It's a year now that we've been able to help that little girl. She's 11. Help her get education and different things. So that's cool. I hope to be adding to that in the future and sponsor more kids. Uh, thank you for everybody who participated, made a donation. There were some really... Uh, really you know there were some sacrifices some people made to help sponsor the site and again thank you to the sponsors we would be nowhere nothing nothing without without all the bait <laughs> you know what I'm saying so thank you I'll name everyone Badger Airbrush Ken thank you is two small words but thank you so much uh, AK Interactive Ian dude Scott Dude at Elm City, Armor Farm, dude, thank you. Armor Farm is going to be going live. I know it's been a while that they've been uh, trying to get their stuff going, but the fact that it's all natural products and you kind of got to wait for the right time of year to be able to have a good inventory, that is the cause of the delay. Model Man Tom, oh, I should tell who wins that prize. First place in sci-fi wins that prize, Mercy John. You win the Model Man Tom prize pack. Sorry, I kind of went too fast, I guess. Oh, and best of show. You get 100 bucks at Elm City Hobbies. And 30 bucks to the first place in each category. Zeron Tools, thank you. First place in Junior. Gets a, a modeler's tool set worth 75 bucks. Um, and AK Interactive, again. Uh, first place in Armor. Gets the Washes, Fading, and Oils DVD plus a three-piece set. Air, first place, gets uh, engines and metal five-piece, vehicle engines and metal five-piece, sci-fi washes, fading and oil DVD, diorama, addicted book to the winner of diorama, plus three mud effects, and juniors gets the autographed FAQ too. I know I'm kind of all over the place. Spud is giving us uh, a Sky Raider kit to the first in the aircraft and a swordfish kit to best of show. I Alarm You is going to, he's giving away a uh, Henkel Bomber 172, so he'll be making that choice. And Fumble Thumbs has some stuff for juniors. Um, Fruit has some cool paper craft model kits that he's going to be uh, contacting you about. And Bazaar has already contacted the people that he decided to give prizes to. So again, thank you to all the sponsors. Thank you for another great year. Uh, one last thing, next year we're going to run it from February to the end of May. Because the end of June, I'm sure it gets different for you, but 
modeling time gets a little a little bit uh, a bit a little, a little bit less because of the good weather. So we're going to just back this up a month and start uh, instead of the first of April, the first of March. Okay, March, April, and May next year. And uh, what else? I'm rambling. Wow, am I ever rambling? I got to go have some lunch. My wife cooks some macaroni. So I'm going to go do the macaroni, and I'll see you guys at Scale Model Attic. Thank you. God bless you richly. I pray that Jesus comes into your heart and you get to know him in such a real way. You know, that's where it's at.